Decatur County man is in jail tonight, charged with what's becoming a growing crime, gas drive off. Deputies say what would have cost him less than $30 at the pump, though, is now costing him thousands of dollars in restitution for damage. WALB News 10 Sarah Baldwin has the story. Clerks at Mr. Pip's convenience store say in a small town like Bainbridge, they usually rely on the honor system for people to come in and pay for their gas. We try to trust every customer that comes in. That's why they were shocked when after putting $26 worth of gas in his car, this man deputies say is 22-year-old Travion Wilcox jumped back in his car and sped off. They were shocked, absolutely shocked. So they tried to run out of the store to get his tag and we, we called 911. A deputy was near Mr. Pips at the time and tried to pull the car over, but the suspect wouldn't stop. The deputy chased him at a high rate of speed. Uh, he got too dangerous, and the deputy backed off and let him go ahead. Apparently believing he was still being chased, deputies say Wilcox continued speeding down a dirt road, through a front yard, and crashed into the carport and car of 81-year-old Ollie Josie's home. It was late at night, and uh, she was inside the house, and fortunately no one got hurt. But the damage to Josie's car alone is more than $10,000, and she has yet to get an estimate on the house. The getaway car, also in bad shape, stopped running a few miles later, and deputies said Wilcox then stole a white truck and kept running until the next morning. The, the parents uh, helped us uh, locate this individual. Uh, he, they thought that he might have gone to uh, Shiloh, Georgia, where he had a grandmother that lives. Wilcox is now in jail, but a wake of damage is left to deal with. The very morning after the drive-off, management put up signs at each pump letting customers know things would have to change. We don't have any options right now except to prepay. We're trying to figure out the best thing to do. Deputies agree the prepay policy, along with good surveillance equipment, is probably a store's best bet to prevent drive-offs. Sarah Baldwin, WALB News 10, Bainbridge.